Hello everybody and th this is Ronald McOne Punch and god damn, holy shit, it's been a long time coming. Dan Salvato has finally released the extra content for DDLC, call it DDLC 2 or what, what not. I mean it's not a sequel but Dan Salvato finally, he finally came up with the uh, bonus content of DDLC. Announcing Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I know I don't make this kind of like videos but god damn this is something else. We've been waiting for this for, for like two years. 20, 2019 or 2018 was supposed to be the year where the extra content or possibly a sequel comes out. And it's 2021 and finally it's here. So I, I'm clicking this right now and apparently it says, Hello everyone, it's been a while and we've uh, been hard at work in the past. I promise all of you that DDLC would one day return with new content. Today I'm following through on that promise with the announcement of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. DDLC Plus coming June 30th brings Doki Doki Literature Club to a number of new platforms including Nintendo Switch, PlayStation and Xbox. In addition, it has hours of new content and lots of other cool features for you to enjoy. In this post, I'll go over some of the new features and content but there are also some things that you'll want to discover for yourself when you play the game. DDLC Plus was created by Team Salvato and is pub being published digitally and physically by Serenity Forge. I also want to thank Serenity Forge for providing an incredible amount of development support for their team of skilled programmers. This release would not have been possible otherwise. Okay, let's get into it. Get into it we shall. We have 6 new side stories. Dan says, I always felt like the characters in DDLC, the members of the literature club, deserved more of a space to get to know each other and kind of explore their interpersonal relationships. So for DDLC Plus, I wrote a new storyline that I called the side stories. The side stories take place outside the timeline of the original game and they instead focus on how all the club members went from first meeting each other to becoming close friends. This is really interesting. This this would actually help the modding community because uh, now they don't have to like make up stories on like uh, how the Doki's actually met. Now we have canon stories of how they actually met. I really want to create an environment where these characters with very real and relatable insecurities have to learn to overcome communication barriers, respect each other's needs and reflect on themselves. So in the side stories you really get to watch the club members grow together as people. I think that will be really meaningful to those of you who relate to the characters or maybe even find yourselves in similar situations. I think this is a great time for some wholesome storytelling that can help us keep us I think this is a great time for some wholesome storytelling that can help keep us inspired to continue improving ourselves and our relationships with others. There are 6 side stories in total, one for each pair of characters. So no matter who your favorite club member is, you'll have the chance to get to know her better than ever. 13 additional music tracks. The side stories also have a brand new soundtrack to go along with them. Music has always been an important part of DDLC and really important to me personally as a part of playing video games. I love how music tracks absorb I love how music tracks sort of absorb all of the emotions you feel during the game and how it all comes rushing back whenever you hear the songs again. I composed the original soundtrack with that experience in mind. So for the side stories, I brought in a new composer, Nikki Kaila, who shares the same passion and understanding of the special impact of video game music. Nikki and I have collaborated in the past before, but we work more closely together than ever on the new track for DDLC+. Some of Nikki's songs have familiar catchy melodies, while others are totally new. To help you enjoy all the music, DDLC Plus has a built-in music player where you can easily make a custom playlist of your favorite songs or of relaxing background music or you can just loop one song forever with that seamless music loop you get in video games. The music player has 26 music tracks in total. I really hope you enjoy discovering the new music as you play the side stories which, also, which will also unlock them in the music player. The music player also includes two guest tracks composed by Jason Hayes and Azuria Sky. I love how each of them brought along their own unique style. Jason Hayes, for instance, is best known for composing the World of Warcraft soundtrack. Damn. DDLC has really reached farther than I ever could have imagined. 100 plus unlockable pictures. Damn. That's a lot of content. 
Speaking of unlockables, another fun new feature is the picture gallery, where you can unlock pictures as you play the game. There are more than 100 unlockable pictures, like game artwork, wallpapers, and never before seen concept sketches of certain memorable scenes from the game. I think it's a fun way to encourage people to try new things in DDLC and see if they can discover all the content. It's not easy to reach 100% content completion, but I bet you if you and your friends share each of your own discoveries, you'll be able to do it together. The DDLC experience. For existing fans of DDLC, hey that's me. We made sure that there is more than enough new content to make DDLC Plus feel really new and exciting. But another thing I kept in mind is how much the original DDLC experience means to a lot of people. I know that there's always a concern about re-releases or special editions having a whole bunch of changes to them or the original content being tampered in some way. So we thoughtfully included all the new content in a way that ensures that the main game Doki Doki Literature Club is as authentic and true to the original as possible. There is one really good change to the original game which is that all the artwork is in higher resolution now, with over twice the number of pixels. I hope it helps make the game more immersive and maybe more scary as well. We've also added optional content warnings, so that you can choose to be warned in advance when approaching scenes that contain sensitive, sensitive material. In conclusion, that's about it for the stuff I'm ready to talk about today. Everything else, I don't want to spoil the fun of you discovering it yourself. But overall, I really wanted to make the DLC Plus not only really special for existing fans, but also a fantastic and accessible way for new players to get in on the psychological horror experience. I really put all my heart into this game, along with everyone else who worked on it. And we're really grateful for the opportunity to share it with you. Doki Doki Literature Club Plus comes out on June 30th for PC and consoles. I hope that you give it a try and that you have a really enjoyable, meaningful, and terrifying time with the game. Special thanks, in this post I had a chance to talk about all the amazing new artists and composers who have contributed to DDLC+, but there are many others who have been invaluable to have on this project and I want to share my appreciation. Joseph for a lot of game developer support with implementing all the new content to DDLC+, and for helping with DDLC community related needs for this release, Alicia for providing endless amounts of creative direction on just about all the public facing DDLC Plus materials and for staying on top of an impossible amount of projects at once, Cynthia for being an extremely great facilitator of communication and project manager and for helping with a lot of difficult businessy stuff, Steven for providing the best art direction and graphic design we could ask for and for creating the DDLC Plus announcement trailer among many other outstanding visual materials, everyone at Serenity Forge for enduring and pulling through so many challenging situations, and you for sharing your continued kindness and support and for sharing this moment of gratitude with me. Damn, it really doesn't feel real at this point now does it? Holy shit, the extra content or sequel if you like to call it, finally out, Jesus Christ. Man, this was supposed to be a short video, but uh, I got a little carried away here. I basically read the entire article. But holy shit, man. DDLC 2, I mean, it's not really sequel, but still, DDLC Plus is finally out. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Damn, I'm so excited now. Finally, I've been waiting for this for so long. DDLC really needed that like sequel or like, extra content. Finally, it's finally here. It's Jesus Christ. Well, I hope you guys are excited as I am. My apologies if this video seemed a little unprofessional. I'm not used to making videos like these. I just wanted to make wanted to make a video like this because you know my channel is mainly based on DDLC and all. So yeah, it's finally here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell if you have already subscribed. And if you have already done that, thank you very much. I'll be to death and I'll see you guys in uh, the next video upload. Also, you guys better bet your ass that I'll be playing this game when it comes out. I'm definitely playing this game when it comes out. Alright. See you guys. Arrivederci. 
I got a story that'll waggle your eyes I got a burger and a thingy of fries I think we disguise our lives when we speak But we show it with what we eat We defeat eternal demons with heaps of internal shitty meat Ronald had a dream when he was sucking his mom's titty He wanted to palm cities rocking his fall hoodie in this heat Nah man, he ain't no clown He don't need another guardian to hold the fucking place down Ronald, I never got to say thank you If you caught me at a KFC, I never meant to hurt you